Today I want to share with you an outlier app I made. I first presented this back at the R conference in the summer of 2016 and I wanted to make a short video explaining exactly how the app works. Now, let's start. Why do we care about outliers? There's lots of different kinds of outliers. I also use the word anomalies. Sometimes it's like what you see in the left case where it's just a value that we, it strikes us as just way out of whack. Just something that just seems totally unreasonable and you just might want to, for example, filter these out of your data set. In other cases, right, the outliers or the anomalies might be the interesting part of the data and might be something that we actually want to focus on. So these are some different reasons why we care about outliers within unsupervised learning. It is composed of a variety of algorithms from things like extreme value, proximity-based methods, density-based methods, and algorithms that are specifically designed for highly dimensional data. So the Outlier app is available. It's online. You can check it out at my website. The source code is also available for you to run as well. The Outlier app contains a variety of algorithms from R-based packages, including traditional approaches like k-means or local outlier factor, to more unusual algorithms such as an autoencoder or using isolation forest. The Outlier app comes with several data sets. They include randomly scattered data, data in well-defined clusters, as well as more unusual patterns like the smiley face or spirals. The Outlier app also allows you to add or remove points from any data sets just by clicking. For some algorithms, it's important to scale your data before identifying outliers. The Outlier app allows you to see the results of your unscaled and scaled data. For example, here you can see how scaling the data really changes what outliers, what points are identified as outliers. So one of the things I want to point out the app shows you is, is that different algorithms highlight different types of outliers. And this is an important concept to, to grasp when you're using these. So the simple example here shows you the difference between the outliers using a k-means versus using something like an isolation forest or an autoencoder to establish and identify outliers. So there's lots of different algorithms. This example shows you the difference between using k-means and fuzzy k-means. And so you can understand what's going on and why different points are considered outliers. The app lets you see differences between distance-based measures and density-based measures. In this example, you can see how the outlier changes based on either a having a further distance or farther away from a tight cluster. One of the great things the app does is it allows you to actually see the underlying numbers for each of these points and what that specific algorithm is doing in choosing that distance. And this can help you really understand, you know, are, is there just one point that's very far away from each other? Or is there a group of points, for example, that's very similar to each other? So once again, the app is based on widely used R packages. The app itself is a shiny app, and the source code is available on GitHub. So go, please grab it, play around with it, and share back what you did with it. So one of the things we have is, is I'm moving this beyond 2D to use things like TSNE to help us understand how algorithms work in higher dimensions beyond kind of the simple XY of the first outlier plot. And so the screenshot here is a simple example of kind of a work in progress right now for looking at algorithms in more than just two dimensions. Thank you once again for taking this look at my Outlier app. Feel free to play around with it, to share it out, to even grab and modify the code. I hope it helps you get a better understanding of Outliers. Thank you.